Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's take a look and see why UV radiation is dangerous or harmful to us. Dangerous? Well, maybe only under prolonged exposure. Harmful? Definitely, because if you go out in the sun for too long, you get sunburn. So the question then really is, what is sunburn and why does UV radiation cause you to be sunburned? Well, the answer is actually not that complicated. So, here's a picture of UV radiation hitting somebody's hand. And of course, that hand is, uh, it's got skin on it, and that skin is made up of typically uh, molecules that consist of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, things like that. And of course, those molecules, the atoms in those molecules, they're bonded together chemically. There's a chemical bonding taking place, and those bonds are held together by, electro, uh, by uh, electromagnetic forces, by the, the attractive forces between the charged particles within the atoms. Now, it turns out that we can actually measure the amount of energy that it would take to actually split those bonds apart, or how much energy is given off when the bonds actually form. For example, to take two hydrogen atoms and break them apart, that takes about 4.5 electron volts. To take two carbons with a single bond between them and break them apart, that takes about 3.6 electron volts. And when you have a hydrogen bonded to a carbon like this, it takes about 4.29 electron volts to break them apart. So what kind of energy, how would the energy come about to break them apart? Well, one way would be for a photon to come along and hit the molecule, and that energy of that photon, if there's enough energy there, could potentially break that molecule apart. And so you can see here that uh, visible light is anywhere from 1.8 to 3.16 electron volts, which does not carry enough energy to break any of these bonds. But UV radiation, which has more than 3.16 electron volts, all the way up to 100 electron volts, that could break these bonds apart. It could actually damage the skin by damaging the molecules, making up the skin by breaking, by, by breaking up these molecular bonds. So if enough energy hits these, the potential for breakage is there. And you can see that it doesn't take a lot more than 3.16 electron volts to begin to break some of these uh, bonds apart. And so that's the effect of getting hit by UV radiation. The damage is simply that there's structural damage to the molecules making up your skin, and therefore that results in what we would then think of sunburn. Sunburn really is the damage caused by the energy contained within each photon of the UV radiation that has the potential to break up the bonds of the molecules in the skin. So that's where it comes about. Now, of course, with X-rays and gamma rays, that's a whole different story. Those photons have so much energy, think of them again like photons are like particles. And if those particles have enough energy, they will actually go through the skin, and in the case of x-rays and gamma rays, all the way through the body and out the other side, uh, it's almost like a little bullet going through your, your body. And in the case of x-rays, only the dense bones of the, of the skeleton, skeleton can hold back the penetration of the x-rays. Um, and, but still, X-rays and gamma rays can cause quite a bit of damage to the body if a prolonged exposure to them uh, is experienced. So UV just actually acts on the skin. X-rays can go through the body. Gamma rays definitely are very powerful, have a lot of energy, and can do a lot of damage as they go through the body. So now you know why UV is not good for life and for our bodies in general.